Hi all. Recently, ChatGPT introducing a ChatGPT 4.0 language model to the ChatGPT free users. The ChatGPT 4.0 is the the newest flagship model that provides a GPT-4 level intelligence, but is much faster and improves and its capability across text, voice, and vision. And particularly. When using ChatGPT 4.0, the ChatGPT free users will now have access to some of the features. The feature like this, the experience of GPT 4 level intelligence may get it and get responses from both the model and the web and analyze the data and create a chart. Suppose if you import a data based on the data, we may get a chart also. Chat about a photo you take. Suppose you posted some photo from this photo, we can go with further discussion and all. And we can be able to upload your file. And as in summarizing and writing or analyzing, that also possible. Like this, they're given some kind of uh, access to the free users also. But there will be a limit on the number of messages that free users can send with GPT-4.0, depending on the usage and demand. When the limit is reached, the charge will automatically shift to the, uh, GPT-3.5 version, which we already got it. That version automatically will shift it. Uh, so hope uh, this video I'm just going to highlight how we can use this chat gpt 4 with the use of the free access so let you can see this is the chat gpt user interface and when you click this uh, the chat gpt here we can get the chat gpt plus and chat gpt options the plus is options upgrade option like a pro options when you like to know more about this when you click it it going to the further one pop-up window in this pop-up window we may get this free options the free users, we have some access like uh, access of GPT 3.5 and limit access GPT 4.0. Suppose after closing the limit, automatically shift it to GPT 3.5. And there's a plus option also there is upgrade to plus and there's a team option also there. Uh, but now the good thing is that even the free users, they can use the chat GPT 4.0. And just I'm going to explain how to use this. So this is in chat GPT. Uh, the send a message uh, interface so here we had all the prompting but now recently because the chat gpt 4.0 they enable this attachment options suppose you need to attach some file based on the file you need to go with further discussion we can go with this for example i'm just uploading a one file from here so here i'm just uh, adding a one file yes after adding a one pdf file i'm just going to ask some kind of prompt based on the uploaded file so still the file is uploaded. The file is uploaded now. I'm just asking um, summarize the above file. Just you can also summarize the file or you can also some kind of just uh, you can go with some kind of further review like this. If we can go with any kind of prompting here. I'm just asking a very simple prompting. Summarize the above file and go to the enter. Now the chat GPT 4.0 model is going to reading the document you can see this this is a documents read by the the language model of 4.0 then after this you may get a summary report so now the reading document still is going on still is going on yes so after the reading the documents now the machines providing some kind of summary report the cognitive learning theories so that pdf file based there is a summary reports providing now you can see this so memory updated now there is a summary report wow so metacognition regulations everything is the machines providing here yes now, if you want to know what the model we are using, this is called ChatGPT 3.0 model, 4.0 model. So, if you want to change it, ChatGPT 3.5 model, you can shift. Automatically, the limit is over, automatically shifted to this. So, like this, we can upload some file and based on the upload file, we can get some kind of summary report. When you go to the second upload, you can go to the second upload to ask some kind of um, prompting. For example, this time, I'm just going to upload some uh, data so we just we can try to upload a data and then we can find whether it's providing some kind of uh, things to us so i'm just going to upload some data here
yeah so there is a data yeah so there is a chapter 4 and i am asking to provide provide a chart for the for some of the findings chapter 4 so i am asking this providing some kind of chart based on the chapter which I uploaded into the 4o model so now we can see whether this is providing a the chart just we are going to explore explore these things still then mission start reading these things yes so the memory updated yeah here the table summary some of the findings here very good so there is findings here participant rituals cultural identity so like this is giving a lot of insights about the chapters okay it's not providing a graph because i'm asking the chart but it's providing the chart like this okay instead of that i'm asking you some diagram okay provide some diagram representation on chapter 4 so once again is going to read this sources chapter 4 there's a pie chart is given some idea about pie chart oh, okay they've given some kind of pie chart link and the bar chart the cultural identity bar charts Venn diagram is given some idea about so where we can draw so like this is giving a lot of idea about this so great yeah great so like this is providing even suppose if you need to ask uploading some images based on the image you want to ask the further discussion we can go with this so i'm just going to add some images here based on the image i like to add some quotes yeah so here i'm just adding one images and describe the image describe the image as a pointer okay so i'm just asking after uploading one image, I am asking to describe the image as a pointer. So previously, the ChatGPT 3.5 model is not allowing to upload any images, even it's not allowing to upload any kind of documents. But now it's giving a lot of uh, free options to us. Now we can see a wonderful uh, poem because I am asking to describe the image as a pointer. So there is a wonderful poem is written by ChatGPT 4O model. So like this, we have some kind of good features available in ChatGPT 4.0 model. Hope this uh, tutorial might be useful for you. So we'll meet in the next video. Bye.